Streaming now, this is the Wood TV Live Desk. And good morning, everyone. Phil Panarski here with the News 8 Live Desk. Hope you're having a great start to your Thursday. And this Saturday marks a pretty big day for the Ottawa Hills neighborhood here in Grand Rapids. It is the return of the Garden Tour, and it's back for a 30th year. Jeff Lake with the Garden Tour Committee joins us now. Jeff, thank you so much for being here. Really excited to get the chance to talk to you about this. Thank you, Phil. Looking forward to talking to you about uh, the, our upcoming excitement. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, that kind of leads in that first question. I mean, you said excitement. How excited are you personally to be bringing this back for a 30th year? You know, it, it's amazing to see where this, where where we started and where we've uh, come. And uh, Ottawa Hills is quite a uh, uh, historic uh, neighborhood into itself. And the Garden Tour is uh, is evolved over the last 30 years to be uh, beyond the wildest dreams of the the five people who started it. And it's uh, it's an exciting time for us because the neighborhood is alive and it's robust and it's uh, inclusive. And we have an event that welcomes the entire community to uh, to be uh, now to walk the streets and to, uh, you know, to be in our backyards and to get a feel for uh, the neighborhood and what this uh, community was and is. Absolutely. And, you know, that kind of does lead into that other question that I have, just kind of about the origins, Jeff, if you wouldn't mind just kind of explaining for us, you know, 30 years in the making, you guys are getting set for this one coming up on Saturday, but just talk about kind of the origins, how this whole thing got started, why the Ottawa Hills neighborhood decided that they wanted to showcase all the different gardens that they have inside the neighborhood and really provide people a space to explore them. Sure. Okay. First of all, maybe we back up a little bit further than that and go back to the beginning of Ottawa Hills and the Ottawa Hills neighborhood itself was originally, I read this about a couple of weeks ago, didn't even know this, that we were originally a hog farm and then uh, it sold back in the twenties to be a, golf course and it was the uh, Grand Rapids golf course and it I we have a little bit uh, of uh, memory of that in that every time I dig in my own personal backyard about eight inches down I have beach sand so uh, at one point there were gentlemen teeing off in the sand or, or you now a sand trap where our house is today but the neighborhood the streets are said to line the fairways of the golf course and the neighborhood was built back in the 20s and through the roaring 20s which are kind of wild in itself uh at a time when you're you know the depression was was going on they were still building homes here to draw people from chicago and detroit and that's why it's rather unusual in the grand rapids you know community to have so many brick homes and the the neighborhood is it's gone through its ups and downs and moving a little bit further along until the 90s when we uh started the uh the garden tour uh the garden tour was originally designed as a originally thought of by about five uh, members as a uh, a means of bringing uh excitement and pride into our own backyards and front yards whether it involved uh somebody planting a geranium or a marigold that made no difference it was not about fancy gardens and it was not about big elaborate uh you know designs it was about participation and inclusion and getting people out in the neighborhood and walking the uh a lot of opportunity for people who have lived in the neighborhood to come back and a uh you now then when we look at the at, at the diversity ages of people who come there are a terrific amount of children families a lot of people from the clark uh, retirement home across the street come over and the neat thing about those people is they may have lived here or been in some of these homes 90 years ago or 100 years ago uh, their families may have lived here and it's neat for them to have an opportunity to look in the backyard and you know if the walls could talk these homes really have a lot to say and the backyards do as well so we're excited to have uh, a lot of kids uh, have uh, hosting uh, lemonade and cookie stands and uh, now sharing our you now excitement in Grand Rapids in the community with with everybody and anybody who'd like to come it's free and uh, we're now very excited to to 
show what we're doing and learn from other people. And we learn so much from people who come through every year that talk to us about, you know, they did their plant this way or that way, or they love the deck that somebody has, or uh, they love the, you know, somebody's gutters. It's a whole learning experience and it's a, just a great community event. And I know a lot of people year after year come to this. I mean, they mark it on their calendars as soon as they hear what weekend it's gonna be. And they just get really excited to visit Ottawa, the Ottawa Hills neighborhood and see everything you guys are offering. Um, but for people that maybe aren't as familiar with it, maybe they just moved here, maybe they haven't been able to head on out to one of these garden tours in the past. Can you kind of explain what you guys will be showing off, especially this year, this weekend, uh, just, just for people that plan on being there, what do you guys really want to showcase specifically this time um, around? We have a, um, a little brochure we put together here and uh, that will be available at for free at uh, the check-in booth. And you don't have to check in, but there'll be, these will be at several of the homes throughout the neighborhood. And inside this uh, uh, mail brochure, there's an entire list of all the homes and, uh, and a map that shows where these homes are. And on that, it, uh, you can find exactly you know, what your, you know, what homes are there. What would you do if you're coming to the garden too, or kind of answering your question is it, it's, uh, you know, you look at the house and, and maybe this is a type of house that you think, gosh, that's kind of a cool architecture. I love the, the style that they have. And, uh, or maybe, you know, it, it's, it's not, even though it's a garden tour, it's really a tour of the neighborhood. And it's a great opportunity to learn from the history of the neighborhood. And the, you know, for people who haven't been here, you know, these of course are not the original owners of these homes because they were all built in the twenties and well, not, well, the twenties, thirties, forties and, and so on. But um, you're, you're getting kind of a taste of what it might have been back in that era, the uh, back in the, you know, early, you know, 20s, 30s, 40s. And uh, it's an opportunity for people to, to, you know, get a little bit of, you know, kind of peeking in the window. And uh, yes, it is about the garden too. And it's, uh, you know, uh, I, I'm kind of a nutty gardener that that believes in, I, I love having every square inch of my, uh, my deck and my, uh, my small uh, posted stamp type yard. Uh, filled with colorful plants. We live in a, in a community in a world in, uh, in Michigan where we have uh, a lot of great time in uh, November, December, January, February, March, and April. And I really like to have color and uh, life in my backyard and our front yard when uh, we have that opportunity. And so I'm not the, the disciplined gardener and my neighbors are, are incredible gardeners and they some of them have very disciplined uh, gardens that are uh, beautiful to look at, where there's a theme. I'm uh, I'm just a random person, and I really love keeping every square inch full of color and and I like to try to grow things that that other you now that maybe we shouldn't grow here, like bananas or olives or avocados, those kind of fun things. But uh, and I think it's a great thing. I love you know when kids come by and you can show them that's a banana tree. Uh, or banana plant or that you know, a lot of people don't even know what a tomato plant looks like. So when you have kids that come from uh, maybe urban backgrounds and they live in an apartment or condo and they don't know where a tomato comes from, it's kind of cool to see that type of stuff. So it's a blend of everything where you have uh, you now that, as I said, the structured garden or the, you know, uh, maybe it's a nice way of putting an English garden for mine, but uh, you know, it's, it's up to the, the, the individual. Right, no, and it provides not only people the ability to check out these gardens, see all the beauty behind them, but like you said, also gives them the opportunity to learn a little bit more, as you mentioned, you know, showing them what these different plants actually do, what the, where the fruits and vegetables that they eat every single day actually come from, what they look like. So definitely a cool aspect to that as well. And Jeff, you know, before we let you go, obviously as a member of the board who puts this on year after year, you're probably the perfect person to ask this, but uh, for people that maybe haven't experienced a garden tour just yet, and maybe they're on the fence about if this is something they might be interested in, what would you tell them to let them know that this is really the place to be, the event to check out this Saturday. It's it's an exciting time to see that uh, people have reinvested in an old neighborhood, and we, you know, we 
part of the charm of, of an old neighborhood and what makes it exciting to walk through here is to look and think that everything in these neighborhoods in this neighborhood was built by hand in an era that we didn't have the technology. And you look at some of these beautiful homes and think, wow, again, if the walls could talk and several of the, many of these homes were built before electricity was a common thing. And, uh, but yet, uh, you know, most of them have very modern kitchens and updated kitchens and, uh, but yet they kind of call back to the history of the, of the, you know, the city when it was growing. And it's, uh, you know, a neighborhood walking tour, neighborhood garden tour is a wonderful thing for every neighborhood because it, we're all reinvesting and taking a small amount of pride in our backyard and showing it off to the people that want to learn. And hopefully the people who maybe have backyards of their own can go, you know, take what they learned at our tour and do that in their own neighborhood. Because uh, when we all kind of exchange these things, it's uh it's a lot more you now exciting. It's a fun thing again to, I think, the history uh, of the of the neighborhood. Going back to realize it was on the golf course. It's a kind of it's a, a very eclectic neighborhood where every single home is completely different from the next. Uh, in our backyard, you now the kind of a big thing for kids that we have frogs in our pond, and the frogs tend to be you now vocal. Uh, so it's always fun for city kids to hear frogs. So it's a it's a great family experience, but it's also something that you don't have to do all 28 homes and you can maybe do a couple homes. And there are a lot of elderly people that will just do a couple homes. And uh, again, I mentioned earlier, sometimes these homes are homes that they may have been a visit as a child or they lived here or had friends or family that lived here. And we're excited to have them back and, and welcome into our neighborhood. Well, it's definitely going to be an exciting time. Jeff, thank you so much for stopping by. I do want to remind everybody watching that if you're interested in checking out the 30th Annual Ottawa Hills Garden Tour, you can find all the information you need to know right now simply by heading on over to our website, woodtv.com. Jeff, one last time, thank you so much for being here today. We really do appreciate learning a little bit more about the history and what people can expect this time around. Thank you, Phil. Of course. And I want to thank everybody else for tuning into this latest edition of the News 8 Live Desk. I'm Phil Panarski, and we hope you have a great rest of your day.